Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one and only Crisis YT, and this is a video I know a lot of people have been waiting for. It's my first impressions of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Lord knows I've been playing enough of this game. I mean, I've already clocked like 12 hours on it, and I have to go to school. So if that gives you any kind of a impression on how much I like the game, I like it a lot. I know some people are saying it's not that good of a game, and the thing about that is they're not good at the game. If you notice, most people who say they don't like this game they're not good at it and that's with any game if you're used to being good at a game and then you start playing a game and you're bad at it you're gonna think it's bad for example I know a lot of Battlefield people people who only play Battlefield and they hate this game you know why they hate this game because all of them are dying and going 1 KDs and negative KDs whereas I'm going 1.5 and 2 KD matches every match I play and I'm having a blast playing but then again, I also know some people who are doing bad, pre se, um, who have just got the game and they're liking it. So if you're pretty good at Call of Duty, which most people who watch YouTube videos are, then this game's for you. Um, about the gameplay, this is the Type 95. This is the FAMAS of this game. You unlock it in the early 30s, I think 33, uh, for those of you who are wondering. I know I got that question on the. Uh, got a comment asking that on an earlier video, but this is a pretty good gameplay. It's 17 and 8. So, I mean, it's not amazing, but I do have a really good, amazing Kill Confirm gameplay that will be going up later today. I also have a, a pretty good um, gold UMP gameplay that will be going up tomorrow. So, a lot of stuff in store so far. I'm also proceeding tonight, and I've got some... I'm going to be doing a class setup video with that, as well as a, a little tip and trick on how to get 10 classes when you prestige the first time so you're gonna have be first prestige with 10 classes that way if you're like me you play some GB or you're on YouTube but you want 10 classes you don't have to go all the way you can get 10 classes that first prestige so look forward to that video um, but like I said I will be prestiging today and those prestige videos will be coming out tomorrow with uh, the tips and tricks on prestiging and my level 80 no prestige class setups that I have and everything like that so that's that and um, moving on to why I like this game so much it feels and plays a lot like Call of Duty 4 does, but it has the fun in it of Modern Warfare 2. It has the fun factor of MW2, but plays like COD 4. That is something that they have really grasped and really mastered, and I like it a lot. Also, every gun's good. There's no, like, really overpowered gun, but there's no really bad gun either. Every gun is good. You can do good with every weapon if you play it how it's supposed to be played. Some guns are meant to be more campy, whereas some guns are meant to be running and gunning and killing a ton of people with. So, you know, that's the thing. You just gotta know how to play the guns. This gun right here is really good. You can rush with it, or you can sit back and camp with it. Whereas other guns, say the LMGs, you wanna sit back and camp with those. And, you know, you can rush with snipers and things like that um, on this game again. And I like that. I was sniping some, and I got a couple clips. I got a nice uh, four-man feed and everything like that. I've already got seven or eight clips for Modern Warfare 3. And I'm saving up for a big montage that I'm looking to release in the summer of the next year. So, next summer, I'm hoping to release a very big montage. I'm shooting for around a 15-minute montage movie. And that's that. I know um, a lot of people have been making these, you know, two-minute montages and stuff in Monfrey 2. I'm done with that. I don't like that. If a montage isn't at least five minutes, it's not a montage, uh, or at least a real montage to earn the title. So, that's the thing. I'm making a 15-minute montage that's going to be amazing. Yeah, that's all I can say. I'm going to probably hire a professional editor for it and everything like that. But, that's still a long time away, so let's keep, uh, go ahead and get my first thoughts on this game. Like I said, I like it. Buy it. It's worth a shot. If you don't like it, then you can always take it back, I guess. But it's really good. I like it. It's the best Call of Duty I've ever played. Normally, I'm not that quick to jump to conclusions on games. But for some reason with this one, I feel confident enough that I can say it's the best Call of Duty ever. And I don't see me stop stopping playing it anytime soon. Um, so that's that. Normally, there's always a flaw with the Call of Duty. And the only thing I can see that might become a flaw with this one is Assassin, just like Ghost on the last game. But, at the same time, you still, you know, it's a, it's a modern warfare. Everybody dies so quick that assassin doesn't really matter. You know, a ca if someone's camping in a corner with assassin, they'd kill you once. You can come back for that revenge kill and kill them. Uh, it's that simple. Um, also, another thing I like is I like how you have the kill streaks of, well, strike packages of three different types now. I'm using a specialist in this, is pretty much what I always use. But you also have the assault and the support kill streaks. So if you are a bad player and you can't really get those kill streaks, 
um, without dying, you can run support, and your kill streaks will continue even if you die. That's really good. That's an amazing feat that I think they've really accomplished to harness and help the bad player out in this Call of Duty. Also, if you're a really good player, though, they have those assault kill streaks that are really lethal, and you can get those pave lows and those. Um, you know, chopper gunners and AC-130s and things like that. They still have that in this game. And, um, so they've kind of captured the best of both worlds. Also, I like how now you get rewarded for capturing the objective. Capturing an objective counts towards your kill streak. That's awesome. That's something they should have done in Black Ops, but they didn't. And now they have done it with Modern Warfare 2. They, I mean, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3, sorry about that. And that is amazing. It's something that they needed to do for... Since Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, really, because people stopped playing the objective and started going for killstreaks. Well, now, getting an objective cap counts towards your killstreak, so there's really no reason in not going for the objective. Um, something else about this game, it seems like one weapon type isn't overpowered. The SMGs balance out the assault rifles. The assault rifles aren't good at close range, whereas the SMGs are amazing at close range, but the assault rifles are better at long range, medium to long range, whereas the... Uh, some machine guns are terrible, pre se, you know, pretty much terrible. They're okay at medium range, but they are terrible at long range. Um, so that's that. Uh, my final score, like I said, was 17 and 8. You're going to see that right here, and here's me getting the game winning kill cam. I love how game winning kill cams show up in theater. <laughs> it That made my Call of Duty experience right there, just kill cams showing up in theater. But as you can see, here in a, probably a billion years, um, I don't know why, but it does really take forever for the scoreboard to show up. There we go. Uh, my final score was 18 and 7, and this is a pretty good game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Check out, look out for another video today with a UMP gameplay. It'll be pretty good. It'll be going up uh, later today. So yeah, guys, I'm Andrew Crosses. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys may not have seen. On the left is an extremely fast way to rank up on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Basically, it shows you how to get 20,000 XP per match, and that is a ton of XP if you're new to Call of Duty. Um, normally you'll get around five to six thousand a match. You can get twenty thousand a match if you do what's in that video. Um, and on the right is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 MOAB. It's the 25 kill streak that's hidden on the game, and you can go check that out. It's a really good gameplay. It's a flawless 30 and 0 free for all. It's got a really good commentary on it with an amazing gameplay, like I said. So you guys should really go check that out. And if you guys are new around here, you like what you're seeing, you can hit that big yellow subscribe button. It'll take you off to a page where you can subscribe to me. So yeah, guys, I'm Crosses YT, and I'm out. Peace.